Hey, hi. So, welcome back. Um, the last run was a little weird, if, uh, if I'm honest with myself, because, um, yeah, I kind of, <laughs> I bumbled around the underground, um, and I could have done some things to avoid that, actually. So, as some commenters, 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 commenters were nice enough to point out to me, of course, I could have used, I, I think I had a recoiler, which is basically works like a teleporter that lets you teleport back to a town. There are jobber recoilers, there are grid gate recoilers, and of course I could have used them. I had chem cells, so I could have powered them and uh, used that to teleport back into town, and that would have gotten me out of the underground. And uh, that was a bit of a waste then. I don't know why this didn't occur to me, but it didn't, And but now I know better. Now this will probably stay in my mind, so um, that's a good thing. Another friendly person in the comments was nice enough to suggest to me to um, make a map. And that is, of course, yeah, sure, that is something I will do. That is something I actually do often for games, like make a map on paper, for example. And you can also use the the crayons, actually, to do a little Hansel and Gretel, which would also be cool. So, um, yeah, there are many ways we can do to avoid getting lost in the undergrounds, and I will employ them with future characters. I think I've also, so, yeah, learned a bunch of stuff with that. A few more general things. It really pays to stay in the beginning area, explore the desert canyons, explore the caves, and uh, even you just should not get lost, but, uh, you know, to find stuff, I mean, we found a bunch of really cool items, we found, you get a, you gain a lot of levels and so on, so, um, that is good. The character build, so the Praetorian actually worked out quite nicely, for the most part. There were a few things that I was kind of worried about, and that is mainly that our damage output wasn't really great, so, we didn't really... Yeah, we kind of, as soon as we dealt with stronger enemies, or even with swarms of stronger enemies, if you remember the Mirthworms, we had a bit of problems. We had some problems with those, and that worried me a little. Especially because, like, the, the, the Rejoinder character really did not have those problems. So, I'm not... Yeah, so we have to think about that a little. It could also be that we just need better weapons. That is probably also the case. But um, yeah, you're really dependent on random number generators there. But uh, yeah. Can go either way, I suppose. Um, I'm going to start a new game now. And um, I'm, I think I'm not... I was thinking about going back to this character, to the four-armed rejoinder type because that is a character build that definitely works and I can definitely apply a lot of the things I've learned to this character but I think what I'm going to do is not that I'm going to stay with Trukin for now I'm going to play the rejoinder character again but I'm going to try it as a Trukin and not with mutations so this is going to be a little different then so we're going to go for short blades, we're going to go for two-handed, and uh, we're not going to have the four hands, and since we don't have, yeah, so we won't have the fire bursts and all this kind of stuff, so this is certainly going to be a little more difficult in the beginning, I suppose, and we won't have the triple jointed, which means basically an indefinite increase in agility. So um, this is going to be a slower burn in a way, but we get more skill points, and we have higher attributes, so this could actually kind of work out. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going. This is just something I want to try out, because I still think the rejoinder thing will be really powerful. But uh, yeah, so we're going to put agility to maximum. Since we don't have triple jointed, we don't have have as easy a way to increase agility. I mean, we we still get the occasional skill point, but it's not not a lot compared to having the triple jointed. Um, so, we're gonna get that to 24. 
I think I want high intelligence. Let's get that up to 20 at least. We're gonna have 18 strength. How about that? 16 toughness. Let's put the rest into... Yeah, 21 intelligence. Or should I put that into toughness? Let's do it like that. Let's do it like that. So there are a few interesting things we can pick here, I think. Let's see. So we have this one. We have... Um, this gives us plus three to agility, which is good. Don't expect me to pronounce that name. <laughs> Zizi Gyrio? I don't know. Um, so with that is... A cool thing because you get offhand strikes and ambidexterity. So these are we won't have the 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 short blade tree yet, but we will have two two things for um, two-handed things for two-handed attacks, and that's kind of nice because each of them is three hundred skill points. So. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a lot right off the bat. So that would be cool. What else do we have? We have this one. This one gives us a bunch of stuff in, in short blades. So we have dagger proficiency. We already get shank, which is pretty cool in the beginning. And this also gives us some stuff for pistols. Steady hands, pistols. And there's something with weak over there. I don't know what that actually is because... Something is not working out there. And dodge and hurdle, which is from acrobatics, I think. This could also be cool. It gives us plus two to intelligence, which is great. And also plus two to agility. Um, so this is great. This will give us... Like, having Shank right in the beginning is probably pretty good. Because, uh, yeah, as I said, we can't lean on the fireball as a crutch. So we will have to go for the dagger stuff immediately for the short blades what else do we have there's one agility strength and ego that gives you dagger proficiency axe proficiency and cleave which is weird but okay and offhand strikes so hmm and also iron mind also interesting the other ones don't so these are basically the three things we could pick we should, could pick child of the wheel eunuch or that thing. I'm... Hmm. I could go for this one. I'm kind of... Or maybe... I think I'm going to start with the eunuch. Just because we already have all this dagger stuff. This could also be cool. The problem is that r in the beginning we will have a bit of a problem in that I won't be able to use... actually use two weapons. Because we need to have a torch. So we will be kind of hobbled underground. And uh, so that is something we need to find, actually. We need to find a light source that we won't need to carry in our hands. I'm already eight minutes in and I'm still talking. I haven't yet started playing. This is bad. Let's begin the game. What is our name? We are Spiru. Okay. And um, yeah, let's see how this works. Oh, we already start with a steel dagger. That is interesting. Don't start with a lot of water, though. Hopefully we can actually do a little bit of stuff here. Let's get his quest. Let's get his quest. Hey, fuck it. Stay here. He left the, the zone. Are you afraid of me or something? You should be. Okay, we have a weird artifact. That is an electro bow. Jesus Christ. That's interesting. We are equipped with a walking stick with two walking sticks. That is strange. What the fuck is this? This is a cudgel. I'm not going to use that. We're going to use the steel dagger. Which is pretty cool. We have a bunch of torches, which is good. And we already have a borderlands revolver. We don't have any lead slugs, though. So we're going to have to buy those. But, um, yeah, so we're gonna do an agility-based thing. Oh, that is a Hulk honey injector, okay. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have our... We're gonna have pistols as... We're gonna have pistols as... 
And plus one ego, that's good. We're gonna have pistols as ranged weapons, and we're gonna have daggers and short blades as not ranged weapons. So that's good. And the electro bow, I think we can get rid of the electro bow actually, because I don't need no electro bow, because we're not gonna go for that. Well, that's a pretty sweet thing to find in the beginning. So if we were a rifle character, that would be awesome. The good thing about those is they don't take ammunition, but they take cells, cell energy. But uh, that's pretty, pretty sweet. Well, that at least gives us a bunch of, bunch of water for the beginning, because we don't have a lot. And that has a carbide dagger here, and well, that's way too expensive. Can't do anything with that. Okay, so let's offer that. Let's be good. All right, fantastic. <clears throat> let's give him nothing. We can. I, I think I want to keep the salve injector, but we're gonna we're gonna give him the hog honey injector. Yes. Accept quest. Indeed, another knickknack. We have already finished this, but I want to find another artifact before we do that. I think we could have given him the the bow, but uh, selling that for 25 was actually kind of good. But we're gonna. It doesn't matter if we don't get the level up now. We're gonna we're gonna be all right, I think. Let's see. We have this. Let's take a look at everything. So we have acrobatics, swift weak reflexes. So we get a plus five bonus to our dodge value when flinching away from missile attacks. And spry, plus two bonus to our dodge value. I'm actually kind of thinking, with the four-armed person, we never did spry, right? Why didn't I never? Why did I never do that? That's so stupid. This is so good. It's an extra dodge value right there. Oh, it's weak spotter. Okay, you we score critical hits with pistols twice as often. That's good. Short blades. We have short blade expertise and shank. That is good. We're gonna get some other stuff here, and we have Hurdle. You receive no penalty to your dodge value when you sprint. That is also pretty good. I'm gonna put sprinting and stop sprinting here. And uh, yeah, let's be agile, I guess. We can try to kill those fish things, just to get some initial experience of the bat here. And that works. Yeah, having the steel thing, and having a lot of... Uh, a lot of agility, and that is actually kind of good, because uh, we're hitting a lot. Yeah. And having shank already, so we're getting quite a bit of a bonus here. Let's shoot that thing, shoot that thing again, kill it. Okay. Yeah, this is working out so far. I'm going to... I'm definitely interested in how this character is going to fare. Probably pretty good, because Rejoinder is still supposed to be really kind of absurdly powerful and I'm I gained a level but I might be dead pretty soon if I am not careful the rest let's reload the revolver and let's allocate some skill points what's jump you jump into an unoccupied square within range 2 so we can jump away that's good We could also get Tumble, but we need Juke for that. Juke is in Tactics, it's this one. We already have Tactics, so that's only 250. We may swap squares with, an, with a hostile opponent, yeah. Oh, please. Rejoinder... Yeah, okay, so we don't need to have two of those, actually. Could get Jab, but we're not going to do the offhand thing too much yet. So... I don't actually know what to go for. Sling and run, disarming shot. Nah. We could get jump. I could just save up the points for now. Let's get butchery. So that we can get that food that food train going, I guess. That's another one. I need to get rid of that seed spitting vine. I think he was shooting. I think he was shooting the seed spitting vine. Interesting. Okay, there are a bunch of these cultists, yeah? But there doesn't seem to be a boss around, so... That's alright. Oh no. 
Die, please. Good. Let's rest up. And let's keep exploring. We have to be kind of village vigilant. Vigilant, yes. Vigilant about what we kill. Because, uh... Yeah. Things can get rough out here. Okay, so we got that. Um... Hobble. Immobilizing our opponents, that would actually be a good attack. And other than the chance of bleeding, I think I'm gonna get blood let off for now. Okay, and it's... Nighttime is approaching fast. Okay. So, um, yeah. Ooh, dear. Hey, you. Okay. Yeah, that is actually working out quite nicely so far. So what we definitely need is I, I'm act I actually want to find a bunch of snap jaws. So maybe before I go exploring these plains here, I should probably I should probably go into the into the desert canyons and maybe find a few snap jaws because I want a uh, I want the woven tunic or the cloth overalls for the dodge value increase. And a white brimmed hat would also be good, but uh, those are pretty rare. But the the woven tunic would actually be pretty good. I definitely want that. I could also just go into red rock because you're mostly fighting you're mostly fighting snap draws in there initially anyways. But uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this slow. I think I'm going to start this out by exploring a bit. There's an irritable tortoise. So we're gonna attack that thing. Kill that thing, good. So we can kind of hold our own here right now. We definitely need to get that dodge value up because uh, we're kind of lacking in toughness. And that means we don't have a lot of a lot of health. That's an Equimax. And there we go. We have an iron short sword, which we can put into our offhand once we Yeah. During the day. That's what I wanted to say. Let's do that. There is a salt hopper. Let's shoot that thing. I said let's shoot that thing. By that I mean hit that thing, please. Okay, and let's just try to kill it. Gained a level. That was kind of dangerous, actually, but uh, at least we gained another level. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're actually getting a lot of skill points. Well, that's kind of nice. The Vinewood Sap Mask. We're going to put that onto our face ASAP. Bark armor, don't need that. Leather apron, also don't need that. Cloth overalls, there we go. Let's equip that. Boom. Plus two to dodge value. That will make a difference. That will make a difference. Okay, and there is a caravan. There has been a bit of a massacre here. Hello, friends. What are you doing? Who is the, th the, the guy? Okay. We have a Taco Suprema. Weird artifact. Oh, that floating glow sphere. I want that. I want that. Oh, a folded... Oh! Jesus! Why do we... <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, we have no way of getting that, actually. So... Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it will actually be a while until we get to rejoin. We can get to rejoinder. So, hmm. uh, 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 where the fuck am I? It, oh, there, there I am. I was just green. Okay. Okay, there we are. Red rock. No baboons around. And that is nice. I think I'm going to just. Quickly explore the plains before going down there. 
And uh, yeah. And we're gonna see. I'm kind of I'm kind of hopeful for this character. This could be cool. This could be we could be onto something there. Uh I mean the the mutated thing was really awesome and it's probably a way to play this character even more efficiently. But you know, you got to try different things. And oftentimes that actually didn't help us much. So, I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. So let's kill that thing and uh yeah. See you next time. Bye-bye.